I think the moment the orange ball rang, I was, I won't say perfect, but they're getting close to being back to the same mentality we had going into the last game. You know, the thing that stood out with me uh, with Urban Meyer's uh, talk today was that, uh, yes, they are aware that they had defensive difficulties in the last several games, really pretty much all year with the pass defense, and that uh, there will be some changes made. Uh, you know, he didn't really go into specifics about that, uh, whether it be scheme, uh, personnel, coaching, coaching shakeups, whatever you want to call it. But you know, whenever you have a season, the last two seasons like we have, they're hot guys. You know, a lot of people have got a lot of phone calls about our guys, head coaching opportunities. What happens is nothing's happened yet. So. Uh, clearly, when you give up over a thousand yards passing in your last three games, you're as a head coach, you're not satisfied and. Neither were Luke Fickle and Everett Withers, the uh, defensive coordinator and co-defensive coordinator, and neither were the players. Clearly they had to make uh, that a, uh, a point of emphasis this month because they're going to be going against one of the uh, top passing teams in the country. And by that I mean uh, Clemson doesn't just throw the ball, it spreads the field out and gets their players in really ideal uh, situations to catch it and run. And it stands out, I mean Taj Boyd is their extremely talented quarterback and they have one of the great playmakers in the country and Sammy Watkins, a wide receiver that they move all over the field and, and try to get him in one-on-one -on -one situations where he can make a play. And uh, so that's the, that's the challenge this defense, which was beleaguered by the end of the season, faces uh, in its bowl game.